Hi y'all, it's Wallace from Midnight Sun Performance Forces. I wanted to do a video about taking care of your mare in late gestation. So the last trimester, last couple months of your mare's pregnancy, what you need to look out for. If you're planning on breeding her back, I've kind of covered this before, you need to get her under lights. Um, they need 16 hours worth of light to help them cycle. They're seasonal breeders. And so to help them start ovulating, if you get them under lights, uh, what's easy for around here is I gotta keep them any, up anyway because fescue toxicity. So it's easier to keep them under lights and have them up. So the thing about fescue is there's a fungus that is inside the plant. It's hard to treat. A lot of, all the fescue around West Tennessee seem, seems to have it. So it's just easier not to let your mare eat any fescue and keep her up the last couple of months of pregnancy. So the problem with this fungus, it causes this toxicity. It causes them to have trouble with their placenta. Somehow it, it makes it either detach early or uh, retain the placenta or make it really hard like red bag where it's hard for that full to break through it. It also prolongs the pregnancy. And so you have a um, overly mature foal being born. So you need to keep them off fescue right now. <laughs> if there's, if you have a mare that's going to fall here in the next couple of months. Um, and then the other thing is obviously nutrition. Unlike what I understand with people, which growing people, I think it's a pretty steady incline as far as uh, the growth of the fetus, but for mares or for horses, um, it's pretty slow. And then you get the last 90, 60 days and whoop, they do most of their like 60 to 75% of their growth in the last two to three months. So they're ga gaining like a pound a day. There's a lot, there's a massive increase of that mare's need for protein and calories about 30% increase. So you need to make sure they're getting enough calories. Um, from what I understand, it will they will hurt themselves to make sure the baby gets what they need, which means the mare won't produce as much, you know, as good of milk because they're in rough shape. So you need, and especially if you're breeding them back, you don't want a skinny brood mare. So you need to make sure you up their calorie and protein intake. As far as vitamins and minerals, from what I can tell, um, zinc, copper, and lysine increase by about a third. So I guess that's about the same, right? So you need to make sure they're getting enough copper, zinc, also vitamin E, they need a lot more vitamin E. So make sure whatever you're feeding them is formulated for brood mares or you're supplementing, just kind of look over that and making sure they get the nutrition they need to have a healthy baby and to produce, you know, good milk and, and be at a healthy weight to get them back in full and just be generally healthy. Uh, about five weeks out from foaling, you also want to give them vaccinations. Um, you know, shake is due the beginning-ish of March. So she's gotten rabies, tetanus, West Nile, Eastern Western, in, uh, Eastern Western influenza, influenza and um, rhino, that's EHV types one and four, and influenza, um, or encephalitis. I think it's Eastern Western encephalitis. Anyway, it's like the top, it's like a five way West Nile and rabies is basically what she's already gotten. Uh, you want to give that, like I said, five weeks from foaling. If you don't have any idea when, you know, she's a maiden mare or you don't know her foaling history, you want to give that at about 307 days in full, between 305 and 310 days uh, from the last time you bred them is a, is a good, good rule of thumb. And then you want to deworm them about three weeks out from foaling with ivermectin. So that's about 320 days out from foaling. You want to deworm them. Unless, if you know the mare's history, then you can backtrack from that. But, um, you know, mares are wild cards. So even if you know their history, they might uh, change it up on you. But anyway, so what are y'all doing? How are you keeping your mares healthy? Uh, tips, things I've forgotten, things i gotten wrong. Let me know. Thanks, y'all.